Once there was a small village next to a river. There lived a poor widow. Her name was Elizabeth. She had only one son, named Johnson. Elizabeth was very poor. But her love for her son was boundless. She wanted him to study and become a great man. She worked as a housemaid and grew vegetables in her backyard to pay for her son's studies. Even though it was tough work, she never grumbled or complained. Unfortunately, Johnson was never interested in his studies. He left school midway. Elizabeth was very sad. She had some silver bangles. She sold them and opened a small shop for Johnson. Johnson was good at business and sold many things of general use. Gradually, he saved some money. When Elizabeth saw that his business had grown, she got him married. Johnson was very happy with his wife, Emily. But he started neglecting his mother. Elizabeth helped Emily with cooking, washing, and other household work. After a year, Emily gave birth to a son. Elizabeth was very happy to have a grandson. She doted on the child and sang many songs to him every day. But Elizabeth's health began to decline day by day. Johnson had no time for her. He did not take her to a doctor. Once, it rained heavily. The water of the river entered the village. The flood washed away many animals, trees, and houses. The people were forced to leave the village. Johnson's house was on high land, but it was surrounded by water. His shop was damaged, and the roof of his house leaked. After his marriage, Johnson had given Elizabeth a small cot outside the house to sleep and he lived inside with his wife. One night, when he came back to his house, he found Elizabeth shivering and coughing, but he remained silent. He went inside his small room and found that Emily was sleeping with the child in her arms. The bed was wet. Suddenly, it thundered, and it began to rain. The roof leaked, and the child started crying. Emily got up and covered the child with her shirt. Her clothes were wet. Johnson had a strange feeling. He was moved deeply to see this sight. This reminded him of his childhood days. He thought, My mother did everything for me, even when she was a widow. She worked so hard to give me a good life. I've forgotten all her love and care. I'm not being a good son. 
I need to change. I must care for and respect my mother. He instantly went to his mother. Mother! Please forgive me. I have been very unkind to you. I forgot my duty. I don't know what to say. Johnson said, sobbing. On hearing Johnson's voice, Emily came out of her room. She saw Johnson in Elizabeth's arms. Both were weeping. Elizabeth said, Don't cry, my child. How can a mother be angry with her own son? You have all my blessings and love. At this, Emily's eyes were also filled with tears. She went near them and sat down. It was a happy family reunion. Moral We should always love and care for our family and loved ones. We need to value the relationships we have and show kindness and gratitude. It's important to recognize the sacrifices made by those who love us and to fulfill our responsibilities towards them with love and respect.